Hello, hello, hello. Okay, everybody. If you were here uh, for my last bit of stuff, I recently got my second Dead God file. Uh, the problem with that obviously comes, I need to start my third Dead God file. I'm starting from scratch again. Uh, literally starting from zero. So basically to help myself out here, I made myself a little guide as to what each character unlocks so I can help myself and kind of guide myself to unlock the things I want and avoid the shitty things I don't want. I am going to rank each of them strictly by their unlocks, not by their playability, not how fun they are to play, not how shit they are to play, only by the unlocks. Top of the tier list being the SSS tier unlocks, the best shit in the world. God came down, he gave us Sacred Heart, he gave us these other items too. Uh, next down is, th they're pretty fucking good. Like, you know, next to Sacred Heart, he put like something a little, little nicer down there. Uh, after that, it's a little lukewarm. You know, they're, they're decent stuff that they're unlocking. It may not be a lot of good stuff. It may be one really good thing that kind of outweighs everything else. Then we have the mild stuff. The starting to look a little shitty one actually looks shitty. And then the actual shit tier. So I guess starting off with Isaac here first. Isaac has some pretty good unlocks, right? He has mom's knife. He has the D infinity. And I also marked missing poster as a God tier unlock. Uh, so you may be saying, Matt, missing poster isn't a really good unlock, except for unlocking the Lost. Well, spoiler alert, the Lost has some pretty fucking good unlocks, so getting him earlier would be better. Uh, so that all being said, with those three items kind of covering everything, Mom's Knife being an instant run winner, D-Infinity basically doing the same shit, it's not the best stuff in the world. I, I, I lie, it's pretty fucking good. It's pretty fucking good, you know? He has some mild ones in there. He has little chest, he has the fart baby. Um, some other good unlocks at the D20 and options are amazing. Uh, D1, arguably, I should have put a little higher on my tier list. Uh, I'm not going to change it now because I'm lazy. Uh, I, I probably should have put that in uh, pretty good, the D1. Uh, but Isaac, pretty fucking good. Uh, so moving on to Magdalene. Magdalene, I hate to say it. She actually looks shitty. You know, she has one good unlock of Eucharist. Um, Eucharist is really good. Uh, obviously, it guarantees spawning uh, an angel deal every floor whenever you pick it up. Amazing item to get. Um, a lot of her other unlocks she has are other angel room items, with her, which are arguably okay. I have Celtic Cross and Glyph of Balance marked as bad, mainly because, I mean, they're, they're, they can be okay items, right? But if, after you unlock them, it floods the angel room pool with more okay items, when it could be Sacred Heart, it could be Godhead, it could be Crown of Light. It could be literally anything else besides Celtic Cross, uh, Glyph of Balance. I threw some things a little higher like Sensor and Purity because I think those can be okay, a little better to see. Uh, but obviously not like some of these other unlocks. Uh, everything else here, it, it's kind of okay. Not fantastic, not really super bad. I mean, obviously it's not the worst, but out of her, all of the unlocks here, they're it's pretty shit. All right, moving on to Kane. Uh, Kane, his unlocks... It, it, he has some okay unlocks, right? He has some pretty good ones. Uh, by pretty good ones, I mean the two. Uh, Kane's Other Eye and Guppy's Eye. Those are really fucking good. Now that they changed Kane's Other Eye, it's basically an incubus, but a little stupider. Uh, uh, but still really good if you end up getting homing with it. Amazing. Um, and Guppy's Eye as well. Arguably one of the better Guppy items. Uh, I love taking Guppy's Eye, so I will put that thing on a pedestal. Uh, but overall, not the best other unlocks obviously sack of sacks is okay silver dollar is okay um, but other things here bag of pennies the bomb bag evil eye which is okay pound of flesh it's all very eh, you know um so i think i think kane goes here it's starting to look a little shitty i mean guppy's eye and kane's other eye uh, as i said are good they're not amazing they're not mom's knife they're not the infinity you know they're not Good items, they're not going to carry Kane over. So his unlocks are looking pretty bad. Uh, so moving on to Judas. Judas has some pretty good unlocks. He has the Curved Horn Trinket, which is arguably one of the best trinkets in the game. He has the Left Hand, which I marked as a God Tier Trinket. Just because I think it is. It, it does enable Guppy to come out pretty fucking soon. Uh, so having that unlocked, I think, would be really good. Uh, also, Aya Belial. Obviously, is it, I think it's a Q3 item or a Quality 3 item. But it is very good, and I will never not take it if i have the chance uh so those three items i think carry judas pretty well uh he has some other really good unlocks he has uh judas's shadow and i marked redemption there as well judas's shadow arguably could be a god tier item 
but it just hurts you so much if you're trying to go for unlock runs, which I constantly do. At the end of the day, it's okay. Uh, so I think Judas is a good example of going into mild. He has some good stuff, not really any bad stuff in there. Akuldama, Betrayal, My Shadow. Uh, My Shadow should definitely be in the bad tier. I threw it in mild. I guess I was feeling nice. So next up is Blue Baby. Uh, now, Blue Baby has some pretty, pretty good unlocks. He has the Eternal D6, the Normal D6, uh, Fate, Forget Me Now. Those are all really, really good items to get, and they will help you in a run most of the time here, right? Uh, he has some other mild ones, very bad ones. Uh, obviously, all the co-op babies are in there. Some trinkets, which are not good. They're not, they're not bad, but they're not like good to get. You're never going to use it. Be like, oh yeah, I found meconium. You know, it, it's it's okay. Uh, so that being said, D6 and Eternals D6 are very fucking good. Those are like top two things I want to be getting first. Uh, so I honestly, with those items being what they are, I may put Blue Baby up here into pretty fucking good unlocks. All right, uh, moving on to Eve. Eve has some okay unlocks. Eve's mascara. I love Eve's mascara. It just makes damage bigger. You know, a big number, a better person. Uh, I think that's really heckin' good. Uh, a fame as well. A fame is really, really good uh, after they made the change to it, obviously. Um, but other than those two items, there are some other okay items in there. Cracked Orb can be really cracked. Uh, just because it'll help you open up, obviously, the Mega Satan door or other stuff like that. Sacrificial Dagger as well can be very good. You have to kind of use it for it to be pretty good. Um, but it is up there. Uh, but she also has a lot of bad unlocks, like Dull Razor, the Normal Razor. Uh, I, some trinkets are in there too, there, which are okay, but not the best. So overall, I think she's going to go into starting to look a little shitty. Right? It's not the worst unlocks. I do think it is worse than Kane. But honestly, I think Eve's a little better than Kane. Okay, I think I'm happy with that for now. All right, moving on to Samson. Uh, our boy Samson doesn't have a whole lot going on for him. A lot of bad or okay unlocks, right? Bloody Lust, okay. Lusty Blood, okay. Bloody Gust, also okay. Uh, but other than that, all the other items here are kind of... They're okay. They're not great. They're not really fantastic. And honestly, it's looking pretty shitty. It, it, it actually looks kind of shit. Uh, now, comparing that to someone like Magdalene, whose only real upside is Eucharist and the Relic, uh, obviously, that will go above Samson. Samson, arguably, could go into actual shit. I think I'm going to leave him down there for now. I'll move him around if I feel bad for him later. But right now, he, that's where he is. All right. Uh, next up, we got Azazel. Uh, Azazel has some pretty good unlocks. He has Satanic Bible. Uh, obviously, you unlock Lilith with him, which I put a, a god tier just because you get a new character. Uh, Maw of the Void, really good. Devil's Crown Trinket is actually really good as well. Other than that, just some really good stuff like Abaddon. Uh, the Trinket for Damon's Tale, which helps Blackheart spawn, which is really good. Um, overall, I think she has some pretty solid unlocks. Uh, so if I'm being honest, uh, has Satanic Bible, Maw of the Void, that's really good. Uh, better than Blue Baby's D6, and Eternal D6, or Isaac's Knife, and the infinity i don't think it's up there but i think it is pretty fucking good it should go around there uh so next up we got our boy lazarus uh so sad to say our boy lazarus uh has some shitty 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 unlocks uh the best thing he can offer pandora's box compound fracture take it or leave it everything else very bad very meh astral projection uh it floods the secret room pool which i would hate to do he goes down here. Honestly, I don't want to... Right, Lazarus is shit. Samson, it can be okay. He ha Samson has some okay look books. Uh, but comparing that to Lazarus, it's crazy. Samson may have a redemption arc. I'm feeling kind of bad for throwing him so low. Because he has some okay unlocks. They're not god tier unlocks, right? Alright, I feel bad. Samson's going at the bottom of starting to feel a little shitty. Alright, uh, next up is Eden. Uh, so Eden, her big shtick, her big unlocks here are Eden's Blessing and Eden's Soul. Obviously Eden's Blessing, just kind of blessing the next run you do with an extra item at the start. I think it's really good to have. It'd be fun to get that early. Uh, so that's why I marked it as I did. Eden's Soul is the thing that spawns the two items. I think is also really good as well. Uh, everything else she unlocks here is kind of kind of bad. Uh, those are just, they're, they're not good items. I mean, again, all these items I'm marking as bad. They're not, they don't hurt you. But they're not like the items you're looking for. Whenever you see it, it's more like, eh, they're there. 
So Eden, uh, with only those two items, I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of looking like shit. Not a whole lot working for her there. All right, next up, our boy, The Lost. The Lost is crazy. I think he goes to the very top. The Lost has so many good unlocks. He has the mind, the soul. The body is pretty good too. Not on all characters, it can't be very good. Obviously he has the Lost Soul Trinket and Godhead. All very good items. He also has the D100, D100, uh, which I threw in okay. I threw it in mild. Uh, just because it can be fun just to reroll everything. Is it amazing? No. And I'm, I'm going to be honest here. The Lost also unlocks Isaac's Heart, which is one of the worst items in the game. So that may knock him down a peg here. Because the Lost does have some pretty bad unlocks here too, like Zodiac. Well, just Zodiac and Isaac's Heart, really, huh? Uh, the other ones I marked as bad is Dad's Lost Coin and Sworn Protector. Those are okay items. It's not great. Obviously, it's not, it's not terrible. Um, now, comparing the unlocks here, I'm going to be honest. I think I throw the Lost below Isaac. Because Isaac overall has some okay unlocks. He doesn't have a whole lot of bad stuff. The only bad thing worth Isaac is a, a trinket you unlock uh, for Boss Rush. The Isaac's Head Trinket. Uh, other than that, it's all pretty decent. Alright, uh, next up, Lilith. Lilith has uh, arguably some of the best unlocks in the game. She has Rune Bag. Uh, Succubus is up there. She has Incubus. She has C-Section, which is, if not the best item in the game, I think Lilith is going to stay in the top tier of unlocks. She doesn't have a whole lot of bad stuff, the things I marked as bad. Obviously all the co-op babies, but ignoring those. Uh, Immaculate Conception, Box of Friends, those are okay items, obviously. Uh, they're not the best, I probably could have marked them a little more mild instead of bad, but... Uh, she just has a lot of good unlocks. So I think she, deservingly so, is at the top of the list and probably will remain there at the top. Uh, so moving on to the character with some of the shittiest unlocks I've seen, uh, the Keeper. Good God, the Keeper has some bad unlocks. A lot of the stuff he unlocks is just to help him out and run, since he is, I guess, a challenge character. Uh, he unlocks Sticky Nickels. The actual worst thing in the game, you deserve to be below everything else just for that. Oh, okay, okay, I'm mistaken there. So for the Deep deep Pockets thing, that probably shouldn't be marked as shit. I, I think I got that confused with the Torn Pocket. Uh, I don't think it's going to change his placement here at all. Uh, he does also, I mean, the good thing you see unlocks here are Keeper's Sack. Uh, which is fantastic in the crooked penny so that being said the keeper still has the shittiest items to unlock here uh, i've seen so far uh, so he's going to go at the very bottom of actual shit all right uh next up we got our boy apollyon now similar to keeper apollyon has some pretty bad unlocks like more than half of them are just trinkets you unlock all the different locusts which i mean they're okay trinkets don't get me wrong I'm not going to get excited about getting a new trinket. The good thing he does unlock, though, he gets Smelter, which is very good. It's very nice. Uh, the Black Rune, which I do think can be very nice. It does kind of fuck up Blank Runes, but if you're ignoring that part, it's pretty good. Also, you get Void and Worm Friend. Uh, Worm Friend, I think, is very good. It's a very good defensive item. Uh, and Void, situationally, can be very good as well. Will I ever take it? Probably not. But the option is there. Uh, so that being said... Uh, I think Apollyon is the perfect example of actually looks shitty, but is not that shitty. Alright, uh, moving on here to the Forgotten. Uh, so the Forgotten, I guess in my head, the Forgotten had some pretty good unlocks. But when actually looking it up and looking at what they unlock, it doesn't actually unlock a lot of good stuff, really anything amazing or good. The best things I noted are Brittle Bones and Book of the Dead. Brittle Bones can be very, very good. Uh, and same with the Book of the Dead, it can be very good, a very good defensive item there. It's a lot of okay items like Bone Spurs, Pointy Rib, Slipped Rib, Divorce Papers. Uh, again, they're all okay items, they're not amazing. And I guess the ones I marked in red here, like Dad's Ring, uh, Spirit Shackles, and Hollowed Ground. I guess for Dad's Ring and Spirit Shackles, it just, again, floods this, uh, the Secret Room pool. I guess with all that, the Forgotten doesn't have a whole lot going for it. Um, I think it actually looks kind of shitty. Everyone's going in the shit tier recently, huh? I think it does have better unlocks than Apollyon. I think the Forgotten sits right there. I think that's fine. All right, uh, moving on to Bethany. Bethany has some pretty, pretty, pretty good unlocks. Uh, she got Book of Virtues, which is amazing. Space bar slash passive item. It's very good. Uh, Blessed Penny Trinket is very, very good to get as well. Uh, Star of Bethlehem and Revelation. All very very good items to get unlocked the bad that comes along with bethany here uh, a few 
different Angel Room items to again flood the pool, they're okay. Things like Urn of Souls, Soul Locket, Vade Retro, or Divine Intervention, they're fine. Again, they're fine. It's not fantastic. We're just kind of flooding the pool with eh items, uh, which I'd rather not do. I think with all that being said, I think Bethany got some lukewarm. Like, yeah, I don't think it's bad enough to throw it in mild. I think it's pretty lukewarm. I'm going to be honest. I think Azazel should be bumped down. But yeah, I think Azazel goes here. I think below Bethany as well. All right. Uh, so moving on to the last of the normal characters, Jacob and Esau. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... So, yeah, Jacob and Esau have some of the craziest unlocks I've ever seen. I know they had good unlocks. I know they unlock, like, Rock Bottom and stuff, but they have so many good ones. They have Rock Bottom, Stairway, Damocles, Birthright, Magic Skin, Red Stew, Inner Child, Genesis, Vanishing Twin. All amazing items to find, all amazing to get. Uh, the only bad that comes along with Jacob and Esau, besides the co-op babies, is Friend Finder, which is okay. I never run it just because it confuses the heck out of me. And Suplex. Which is, again, a very fun item, but again, it confuses me and makes me scared for my life because I think I'm going to hit the enemy after I drop down. But besides that, those are the only two downsides, and they're still okay items to find. But I think the amount of amazing unlocks Jacob and Esau has, I think that goes over the amazing things Lilith gives you as well. So I think Jacob and Esau is the best character out of all the normal ones, has the best unlocks, and I think that's the character I'm going to be trying to get first and get those good unlocks here first. All right, so that is all the normal boys. Uh, so moving on to the Tainted guys, Tainted Isaac. Uh, Tainted Isaac has some amazing unlocks. Out of the seven, basically six of them are close to God tier, if not God tier. Traverse Stars card, Soul of Isaac, Spin Down Dice, Glitch Crown, Mega Chest, which unlock as well, along with the Dice Bag, which is very fucking good. Honestly, I think Tainted Isaac goes there for the S tier. The SSS tier. Now comparing that to Jacob and Esau with Rock Bottom, Stairway, Damocles, Birthright, Magic Skin, it may go higher. I think I think he goes up there. The only bad part about Tainted Isaac is the trinket that comes with him. Obviously, it's not a bad trinket. It's okay. Yeah, so I think Isaac goes at the very top there. All right, go moving on to Tainted Maggie. Uh, Tainted Maggie, she has some okay unlocks. Obviously, Holy Crown is really good. Uh, the Reverse Lover's Card is really good as well. Uh, the Queen of Hearts can be very good depending on the obviously the character you're playing, but I do think it is a very good card to get unlocked, uh, along with Hypercoagulation. I, I think her unlocks are very good. Uh, I think they're pretty lukewarm. I think she's, I think she's a lukewarm. Uh, so then we got Kane, Tainted Kane, the Bag Boy. Uh, so the biggest thing you're probably wanting to try to get with Tainted Kane is the Solar Kane, just for the room unlocks, which is amazing. Uh, the Golden Pills are also very fun to have. Uh, alongside the gilded key which i think is very good other than that things like bagger crafting can be okay situationally uh, so i think if i'm being honest i think kane will go in mild he's kind of half and half here tainted kane is really only here and not below just for the soul of kane if i'm being honest and golden pills i think those are kind of throwing him a little higher than he should be so next up uh we got tainted judas so tainted judas the biggest thing with him is really just the black sack unlock i know it can whenever you pick up a black sack it gives you either like some bone hearts some cards some black hearts which all very good other than that the other items he unlocks are very okay nothing amazing nothing really that bad uh if i'm being honest the black sacks does not carry judas too well it's not actual shit i wouldn't even say it's a little shitty all of his unlocks are okay but it's starting to look a little shitty all right next up we got tainted blue baby uh tainted blue baby has nothing really going for him he has some okay trinkets. The Dingleberry trinket actually surprisingly very good. Also has the Reverse Emperor, which arguably I should have put in God tier. I put it in very good, uh, but I don't think that's enough. Obviously, the soul of Blue Baby is very bad. Charming poops are okay to have. Obviously, it's just kind of fun to find. Uh, but the other things he gives, IBS, very bad item. Not going to take it most of the time. A lot of okay stuff. Nothing really amazing besides really the Reverse Emperor. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to put it most likely next to Judas here. I think it is a little better than Judas, but not by much. All right, next up, we got Tainted Eve. So Tainted Eve has basically nothing going for her. She has a lot of okay unlocks alongside horse pills. Horse pills, I think, are fun. They're not, honestly, I don't think horse pills are the best thing to have, but I think they're just fun to find. And they, like, the idea of you finding a golden horse pill just makes my heart race. So I got to put it in at least a good a, a good rating. Uh, but besides that, the other thing, things she unlocks are very okay. Soul of Eve, Sumptorium, Little Clot, Heartbreak. They're all okay. They're not bad. They're not great. So that being said, 
it's not like the worst things to unlock, right? So I think it's actually, I think it actually looks shitty. But it's not actual shit just yet, just because the items aren't bad. It's just not good. I think Eve is like in between actually looking like shit and actually being shit. So we'll leave her right there. Uh, so next up, we got our boy Tainted Samson. Tainted Samson, the biggest, biggest unlock for him, which I think will carry him a long way, is Crane Games. Crane Games have so many good items you can get, and it gives you a good way to spend a lot of the money you make. Uh, so I think unlocking Crane Games pretty early is very, very good. Besides that, his other unlocks are okay. They're not very good. Larynx is okay. Temporary Tattoo, that one trinket you find, is also okay. The other things you find for him or unlock for him aren't the best. Uh, honestly, I think Crane Game is going to carry him pretty, pretty highly. I'm going to... I think it's mild. Honestly, I think that goes above Kane. Does it go above Judas? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I think you go above Magdalene. I think he sits right there. I think he sits there in good lukewarm. Uh, Tainted Azazel. Tainted Azazel has some pretty eh unlocks. Yeah, so the biggest unlock here for Tainted Azazel is just the Wicked Crown, that one trinket. Uh, it lets you find treasure rooms and shops and in Sheol, which is only one floor, which isn't Amazing again. I think a lot of the trinkets similar to this are good to get early uh, Because it can determine where you're gonna go with your runs if you do find it early enough uh, So making sure items like this is unlocked Before I have all the unlocks I need I think are good and all the other things you unlock your hell games are pretty bad I mean they just waste a lot of your time and most likely won't pay out these other items are all very okay They're not amazing. They're not the worst things ever. I think it actually looks a little shitty Maybe the top of actually looks shitty there. Now, if I'm being honest, I think... Let me, let me put him near the bottom. Yeah, if I'm being honest, I'm being too nice. Azazel, Tainted Azazel, pretty shit unlocks. <laughs> All right, next up, we got Eden, Tainted Eden. Uh, so, Tainted Eden has some really good unlocks. Uh, Soul of Eden, which is really good, and Wild Card. I think Wild Card is very, very good to unlock. The same with Soul of Eden. It does help out a whole bunch. And the Reverse World Card is very nice as well. But she has some, some very bad unlocks, too. A lot of these other Tainted characters don't have super bad unlocks, but e Tainted Eden arguably has one of the kind of worst with the corrupted data and having the chance for any item you find in the secret room being a glitched item uh, alongside TM Trainer being another unlock, which, again, floods the secret room pool with kind of very bad items. Uh, so comparing the two of those ups and downs of Sola Eden and the wild card to the TM Trainer mess and corrupted data, I think she's perfectly balanced. I think she goes right snack dab in the middle. All right, next up, our boy Tainted Lost. Tainted Lost has some really good unlocks similar to the actual Lost. The biggest thing, Sacred Orb, Crystal Key. Kids Drawing is really good. The Reverse Fool card is also very good. All the things, uh, the only bad thing about Tainted Lost is one of the unlocks actually hurting you, being the Haunted Chests unlock. Uh, with that being said, I do think Lost goes up here into pretty fucking good unlocks uh so next up we got tainted lilith tainted lilith unlocks twisted pair do i need to say anything else uh also gives you soul of lilith which is very good and fool's gold fool's gold which is the the money rocks which is really good as well the only real bad side to her unlocks is you unlock the reverse high priestess uh i think she's nearing tot the up here near high of lukewarm I do you think bethany is better I think it's fine. I think Lilith's unlocks are better than Azazel. Worse than Bethany's. I think she's good right there. All right, next up, Tainted Keeper. So Tainted Keeper has some... He definitely has some unlocks. One of the best ones being Golden Pennies, which are amazing. Uh, Soul of the Keeper is very good as well. Other than that, his other okay unlocks. I mean, Keeper's Bargain, the Trinket is okay. The one really bad unlock you get for him was the Cursed Penny, which I never see... I, I can't see how he used that well. Uh, I never pick it up. I never use it. I do think it is just a terrible trinket to get and a bad one to unlock just because you're never going to pick it up. Other than that, the other items here are straw man, keepers can. They're okay items. Again, they flood the secret room pool. So that being said, I do think he should go kind of up here and lukewarm. It's not mild. It's arguably mild. Maybe middle mild. Yeah, no, no, no. I think it's fine behind Judas, but comparing that to Tainted Kane as well. I'll put Keeper a little lower than K, but what about Eden? Yeah, I think he's fine there at the bottom of Mild. All right, next up we got Apollyon. Apollyon has some very good unlocks, and all the other unlocks he has are very okay. Uh, but the good he gives is the Reverse Tower card alongside Echo Chamber. Echo Chamber is amazing. 
I think he goes up here and pretty fucking good on Mox. Getting Echo Chamber is really good. Reverse Towers is also very good. I think Apollyon's fine there at the end of pretty fucking good. All right, uh, next up, we got Tainted Forgotten. Pretty bad unlocks. He has some okay stuff in there. The Soul of the Forgotten, arguably okay. Uh, but other than that, his other stuff is very okay. Isaac's Tomb, it's a, it's an okay. It's an okay item. I never really see it pay out too often. Decap Attack is such a bad item. I tried to love it. I tried to simp for it. I just couldn't. I couldn't understand how to use it right. The Forgotten, pretty shitty unlocks. Is it started to look a little shitty? No, it's actually kind of shitty. It's not the worst things ever. Yeah, I do think, I do think the Forgotten goes a little, goes right here. All right, let me take care of Tainted Lazarus next. So Tainted Lazarus has some pretty heckin' good unlocks. Uh, Flip, which is a really, really good item to find, along with the Reverse Judgment card just spawning a, a reroll machine. That's crazy. That's actually pretty game breaking. The only bad unlocks he has. Our Torn Pocket, which is a, it's a okay trinket if you're trying to do something funny. The other really bad trinket to unlock is the Torn Card. Other than that, he has some pretty good unlocks, but the Wooden Chest being pretty good to unlock alongside Salvation. Both very good items, or very good things to have. Uh, now Lazarus, I do think it's pretty, is it pretty fucking good? Reverse Judgment Cards and Flip, I do think that is pretty fucking good. I do think it's higher than Apollyon. Mm, I do think the Reverse Judgment Card is going to carry Laz to go above it. I do think he's sitting right there, kind of in the middle, pretty fucking good. All right, moving on to Bethany. Bethany has some good unlocks to get. Confessionals, let me get in. Uh, both very good confessionals, I think are good to unlock pretty early. Confessionals rarely pay out, but the chance that they do always makes you feel really good inside. Uh, so I like to unlock them. The other things she has to unlock aren't bad. Uh, a lot of mild and okay things. It may be the top of mild, if I'm being honest. But I think for sure Judas goes above Bethany, above Cain, below Judas. All right, last but not least, we got Jacob and Esau. Uh, Jacob and Esau has some fun unlocks. And by fun unlocks, I mean you get to unlock golden trinkets, which I do think are very fun, but they never fucking spawn, but they're fun. <laughs> it's fun that the idea of them spawning is there. Will they ever spawn? Most likely not. And if they do, will it do anything? Most likely not. But they're shiny, which is kind of cool. Uh, other than that, Jacob and Esau has some okay unlocks. The soul of Jacob and Esau, it's very eh. Our seer mode, very eh. One thing, Esau Jr., I have never used this item well. I'm sure it can be okay, but I've never gotten to the point where I find it and I'm excited to see it, excited to use it, and I stick with it. It really just floods the secret room pool again, so I really don't think you need it. Uh, so the only other really good one I didn't mention here was the reverse moon card. Reverse Moon is very good. I think it's a very good card to unlock. It's the one that teleports you to the Ultra, Ultra Secret Room, uh, which I do think is very good to have. Uh, but comparing that to the other items, which are okay, I'm conflicted where to throw him. I'm kind of in between these three and Mild. It could be shit, kind of how you look at it, but the Reverse Moon makes it not so shit. So I'm looking between Mild and Lukewarm. I do think it's fine right there. I do think J Jacob's either bottom of Lukewarm or very top of Mild. I'll leave him here at the bottom of Lukewarm. Okay, well that is the list. Yeah, I think this is a solid list. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to share my document I have. I'm going to share, well, I guess this screenshot of this here with everyone. Let me know what y'all think. I, I want to hear what y'all y'all's opinions are uh, as to my list and I guess where you would throw your own character unlock tier list. H how bad of an opinion do I have? You know, am I dumb? Am I is my list the consensus? I have no idea. I've never seen a list like this before. Uh, so I'm curious what people think. Uh, so I guess with that being said, uh, that's kind of it. So uh, feel free to like, subscribe, you know, do the normal YouTube stuff. Yeah, well, thanks for watching, folks.